What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. As you can tell by that little intro there, we are talking sheephead fishing today. It's just gonna be a real quick video, just gonna kind of go over my favorite sheep's head rig and why I think it, you know, why I think it works the best. And uh, but we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it, so y'all stick with it. All right. So the first thing you're gonna need for this rig is some good fluorocarbon. I, you know, I'm usually a mono guy. You know, you hear me talking about when I'm throwing top waters and stuff. I always go mono. I like the stretch of the mono. I like, uh, you know, it floats a little bit better than that fluorocarbon does. And um, so I'm usually a mono guy, but when I'm sheephead fishing, I do switch over to some fluorocarbon. I like to run some real, real light. You can see if I can get it to focus. And eventually, there we go. We're running just some 15 pound fluorocarbon, some Seaguar. And you'll want to start out with probably, you know, I usually go 12 to, eight in, 12 to 18 inches. So get, get you a stretch of that. Next thing you'll need is a nice small hook. I like to go very, very subtle for sheephead. I usually go size four or smaller. You can see here we're using some size six owners. And, um, you know, sheephead, I don't think sheephead get a lot of credit. They are a very, very peaky fish. And <clears throat> I, I'm convinced they'll sit down there and stare at that bait for a few minutes before they finally eat it. So having a real small hook, having a real small line, you know, something they can barely see is, is very, very key. And having a small hook like this kind of helps you bury it inside, you know, if I, I like to use fiddler crabs or, you know, little shrimp or something, just real small baits. And you're able to hide that hook in there real well and it's, uh, it, it'll really increase your odds. But after you get that hook, you know, just tie it onto the bottom of your, your leader. Um, I do like to, with my stretch of fluorocarbon, I, I like to tie it straight onto my, my uh, braid. I don't do any kind of swivel or anything. I just kind of do straight line to line knot. And if y'all are interested in a good knot to tie for that one, I will drop a link to a video below. And it's just a real easy leader to, leader to braid knot. But once you put your hook down there on the bottom, you want to get you a couple split shots. And same, same thing as the hook and the line. I like to go real light with my split shots. Basically just enough to keep it, you know, hold it in the current. A lot of these places I find these sheep headed, you know, it's, it, you're fighting some current. So you do need to keep a little bit of weight on there. I usually throw a couple, you know, I think these are quarter ounce split shots. They don't, they don't say they're number, number two. So whatever, I think it's about a quarter ounce and you end up putting two of them on there and it's about, it winds up being about a half ounce, but you know, still pretty light. Um, but you know, if you're working these columns, right, working these piers and everything, you can, you can get that bait to stick down there. All right, once you get that hook tied down there at the bottom of your leader, and I don't do any kind of special special knot or anything down there, I just do the simple, I've always called it a fisherman's knot, you know, just a seven twist clinch knot. Once you get that down there on the bottom, you'll take your split shots, and I like to go, you know, it, it varies from time to time. Yeah, a lot of times it depends on how much leader I have left. But I like to, uh, I like to go about eight inches, six to eight inches above the hook, you can see. About that far, and I'll just put these two split shots right on top of each other. As you can see, that'll give you, that allows that, kind of what that does is that weight will hang down like that and it'll allow your, your bait to kind of, kind of drift off the pile in just a few inches and kind of hang in their face and get their attention. But once you get it all tied up, this is kind of what it should look like. You know, as it's, you can see it here on my rod here, that is what it'll look like. You know, like I said, it's about 12 to, eight in, 12 to 18 inches of 15 pound fluoro, a number six Mutu circle hook, and you know, a couple number two split shots. So it's super, super simple rig, but you know, with the sheep head fishing, you wind up breaking off a lot. I, you know, for it seems like for every fish I land, I have two break me off. So, you know, you don't want to go, I know a lot of guys use the swing jigs and I've even started using some of the swing jigs myself, but you know, you wind up losing a lot of them and they, they're, they're fairly cheap, but you know, after you lose five or 10 of them, they add up pretty quick. So it kind of helps you keep your money loss to tackle loss at a minimum. And you know, it's it's also, you don't have to carry much stuff when you go sheephead fishing. Like uh, my good buddy Josh, he always jokes around about, he's got his sheephead tackle box and it's literally got like four hooks, you know, a couple split shots and some line and it's like a Ziploc bag. It's, it's just, it's super simple. So you don't have to bring a lot of stuff with you when you go sheephead fishing. And you know, being, like I said earlier in the video, you know, being subtle, kind of hiding that bait in there is, is key. You know, I've, I've been fishing next to people where they're fishing Carolina rigs or they're fishing, you know, dropper loops and they're just not getting quite as many bites. And I think, you know, just the, the subtle subtlety of it, you know, it, it really, really pays off. Then of course, having the, 
the fluorocarbon to you know give you a little little extra strength up against those pylons as compared to the mono like i said that's that's a big help too and then the split shots you can get a pack of split shots for like a buck so if you lose some split shots that's not a big deal so by far you know probably the most expensive part of this rig is going to be your fluorocarbon leader but you can hang on to it if you're like me you know i don't i don't use fluorocarbon a whole lot so i've been i've been working off this one spool of cigar for about a year and a half now so so it's good but you know this is a lightweight rig but you can still catch some big fish on it you know like i think it was two years ago i caught one that was just shy of 12 pounds and it came off this same exact rig and it's just you know like i said super simple super easy and super effective so if you guys think you can make this rig work for you, you know, drop me a comment below. Let me know uh, if you have any kind of changes you might use to it or anything like that. Drop me a comment below. But if you enjoyed today's video, shoot me that thumbs up. You know, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Like I said, it's a short video, just a real quick. You know, it's been a while since I've done one of these tailgate talks and give it a little tip. So, figured I'd show you guys my favorite sheephead rig. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to start doing some more of these videos like this over the next X couple weeks. You know, it's hot for the duck hunting uh fishing's kind of slow being in the middle of the winter time we're still catching plenty of sheephead and you know we go out and catch the redfish but we're not having those banner days like you like you get spoiled with in the summer so i'm gonna try to work on some more of these on some of my down days and uh, try to put some of these videos out but like i said if you guys enjoyed this video shoot me the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed up already make sure you hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell We've got a lot a lot of stuff coming up coming here soon so Y'all be on the lookout for that, but I'm going to quit hammering on. I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here, and I will catch y'all on the next one.